Dope souls. Such a dope soul, whatever floats my boat Flows like the soap quotes from the poems I wrote So don't compare me to jokes Them cart men's doing cartwheels I'm so real, those cats are cartoons like Garfield So chill, but that's the tip of the iceberg What's beneath the surface speaks volumes to write words Goliath painted picture with thought when I jot it down Written scripture haunting your spirit when you hear eerie sounds Can you feel me around? Tap it twice to like it too People leaving fire emojis when I come blazing through The way I'm sliding smooth, I am not here to please here to plant seeds like philosophies of Socrates. Thoughts of deep comfort zones I am thrown. I aspire to lead, not be followed on a smartphone. Learned a lot this lifetime and how to react. Never fall for crap, it's never worth the impact. I'm on a different vibe, love quest to call a tribe. Thriving in environments enlightened by my third eye. Got away with words, a bird's eye view. An unheard of work ethic, fly IQ. In my bag, tell outcomes, increase income. Travel light, don't want baggage, don't bring none. I hit the scene, drama free automatically. Pace with haste to showcase authenticity. We got it. Anthony Jacobs. I'm the R&B vocalist for the group. I'm G.T. Williams. I'm the music producer. And I'm Lee Rose. I'm the hip-hop element. And we are the Life Lounge. The inspiration for our song, Dope Souls, um, it starts um, with the beat. For this particular beat, um, it harkens back to that 90s boom bap, um, you know, a la De La Soul, a tribe called Quest, you know, similar groups like that. Yeah, he sent me over the beat. Second I heard it, I kind of had an idea for for the song just to be something kind of, you know, on the braggadocious side, but just to showcase our the confidence we have, right? Um, we are dope, and, and, and these brothers are some dope souls. So I, I thought, hey, maybe let's just, let's have something that people can nod their heads to, but I also want the lyrics to come out, be something that you can listen back to and catch some things that you didn't the time before, um, you know, so uh, it was definitely uh, an artistic project in itself. So, yeah. Yeah, and when Lee hit me up and said, hey, you know, I got this uh, idea for the hook. I want you to have that little inspiration from Pharrell. So I was like, say no more. And we got to work and, and produced a song. Yeah, as far as the creative process, typically um, what happens is I'll send the guys a beat, then they'll come in and they'll record their lyrics. And once they're re done recording everything, I'll come back into the lab and I'll kind of fine tune things and I'll restructure the beat to fit what their vocals do. Um, and I try to keep it as minimal as possible. I just feel that with a, a more minimal beat, it will accentuate their vocal performances. As far as our artistic beginnings, um you know, with me, I started out listening to music as a kid. My dad was a DJ back in the 80s, so he played a lot of 70s soul, R&B, funk, blues, jazz, like so, you know, uh, hip hop music, early hip hop. So I, I was influenced by a lot of genres of music. Uh, when I got a little bit older, around 13 years old, I started to dabble in trying to write. Um, you know, it started out as just doing parody songs, similar to like a Weird Al Yankovic or something, where I would just kind of take the lyrics of one song and then try to flip them into something that's funny. Uh, and, and, you know, getting that instant feedback from people uh, felt great just to see that something I created um, can, can invoke that type of emotion from people. So I got hooked at an early age um, in writing. So I just, you know, I knew that's something I wanted to do. Yeah, for me, um, a little similar to L, like I listen to the music that my pops listen to. So, you know, that old R&B and soul, jazz, funk. Um, and then around the age of 10 years old, my grandmother purchased piano from the neighbors across the street. I, of course, had to be on it all the time. So she paid for me to have piano lessons. And then from elementary school up through high school, I was in band. I played the saxophone and concert band, jazz band, marching band. I think for all of us, we all grew up in 
there's not a big age gap between us. So we all grew up listening to the 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, my dad, I mean, Lee and I, we have a lot of similarities with our fathers because he, uh, my dad was a radio jockey in Minnesota and um, for KMOJ Radio. My mom was a gospel singer. And so um, they had kids <laughs> and I was one of them. And uh, they passed their voice down to me and that's how I became a musician. Where we're from, um, we all reside in Reno, Nevada right now, but I'm from Minnesota originally, a Minneapolis. That's where I was born. Um, I'm, I'm from Reno, Nevada, born and raised. And I was born in Oregon. I uh, grew up in Reno. This is home. As far as um, a creative uh, scene here in Reno, yeah, there, there are a lot of um, festivals that happen around town that showcase local musicians and local artists. Yeah, absolutely. We have a we have a nice diverse community here. So there's a lot of genres of music, um, plenty of venues to play at, and they showcase uh, local talent all the time. So yeah, there, there's definitely a large uh, creative community here in Reno, Nevada, for sure. Thank you so much, Mags FM, for showcasing us on your platform. Uh, we truly appreciate that, and we uh, have more music to come. So um, stay tuned. The Life Lounge. The Life Lounge. Peace. Peace. <laughs>